Am I the arsehole? For parroting the things my wife says to me back at her? So it's my 11 year anniversary tonight not sure it has any bearing on this story but I think it's important to bring up. We had a party at our place with some friends and neighbors and toward the end of the party I was visibly intoxicated but decided to have another beer because that's just what I do on a Friday night. Upon seeing me retrieve this beer my wife says, Uck, another one, fucking really? Sounding all bent out of shape. This doesn't really bother me because I've been married to this super fly lady for 11 years now. About 4 minutes later I see her getting a rice crispy treat so I jokingly say uck, another one? Completely free of profanities or anything trying to show I'm just messing around because that's just my person. I'm now in the doghouse and she's pissed because I was making fun of her weight and that getting a dessert is different than sobriety and I tried to explain that it was not making fun of anyone's weight, just parroting someone getting one of something but it has fallen upon deaf ears and I have been asshole branded in our house. It should be noted that I am not struggling with sobriety or any other such issues, I just hear and see things that make me laugh and I want to keep it going. Am I the asshole? for parroting my wife? Are you sure you're not struggling with sobriety? Because that comment from your wife suggests that maybe you are, and maybe you aren't the best person to see it. As for the comment yes, you're the arsehole and you know you were doing it to get back at her. Info what outcome were you hoping for? Did you think Mrs. Fly might say oh, you're right, thanks for pointing out my hypocrisy? ESH you're both adults, you can eat and drink whatever and however much you like. No reason for either of you to bitch about each other for having a drink or a dessert on a fun occasion. Edit obviously in moderation. In no way am I saying that overindulging is good for you. Op got drunk as shit at his anniversary party, was starting to get that obnoxious drunk but think he's fine while everyone else is telling him to get some water and then thinks parroting is telling his wife not to get a rice crispy. Lamau just say you were drunk and wanted to get shit faced at your anniversary and was upset when your wife was annoyed by that. Don't make this about anything other than your drinking cause that seems to be the issue here you getting drunk every Friday and thinking it's not annoying as fuck to be around. People who just grab another beer when already visibly intoxicated every Friday night absolutely struggle with sobriety. Why do you think your wife made that comment in the first place? Do you drink too much regularly? Does she have to clean up your mess when you're drunk? She may have been exasperated that you chose to continue drinking when you had already clearly had enough. Your comments about her eating are on a par with what I expect an intoxicated person to make, so my point here is please look into how your wife feels about your drinking. The amount of people here saying if she couldn't take it she shouldn't have dishes it out have never lived with an alcoholic or someone who drinks to excess regularly. He said he drinks to excess weekly it sucks being the partner of someone who gets wasted every weekend and she had it. You're the asshole. You're the asshole so you was getting sloppy drunk and she made a comment you in return called her fat. You made me hungry for ice crispy treats. How fortuitous that I happen to have some in my pantry how unfortunate that I can never stop at just one or two or ten. But to respond to your question. She could see that you were visibly intoxicated, so she said something. Parroting back her comment indicates that you could see that she is visibly overweight, that's why you said something. Do you now understand why you're the asshole? I got sloppy drunk at my own wedding anniversary party that I was nominally hosting and when my wife got annoyed about it I decided to take a dig at her for eating dessert rather than take responsibility for my drinking. Am I the asshole? Man what? Of course you're the asshole. You're the asshole, and you will always be in these situations. Instead of handling yourself like an adult who's been married for 11 years, you decided to be a 5 year old and hit your wife with a clear insecurity. Mockery is never to give you the high road in any situation. You're the asshole. You were visibly intoxicated, and had another drink. Her calling you on that means she probably is taking issue to how much you're drinking, especially if you are hosting. 
You retaliated with comment just because you thought it was funny and wanted to keep a joke going? But you didn't find it funny and wanted to get back at her? You're the asshole. You got sloppy drunk, were petty and childish by parroting her words back at her. She was obviously worried about your behavior, and it was your anniversary? Dude you sound like most alcoholics I have ever met and or heard of. You knew that you were too drunk, and you kept going. Get help. Your wife must be a saint. You're the asshole, your wife is concerned about your alcohol intake, and you implied she's fat. You really can't see how different the two scenarios are? Maybe have an honest, sober conversation about how you and your wife really feels about your alcohol consumption habits. You're the asshole dude she has a point like getting another drink and getting a desert are two different vastly different things. I can see where you come from but you might want to apologize for targeting your wife's insecurity in the open like that and maybe once she's cooled down you can offer your perspective. This is such childish behavior. I can't believe you need Reddit to tell you this. You sound exhausting. I'm sorry, did you say your marriage is 11 years old, or that you're 11 years old? You're the asshole. You're the asshole. You were parroting her specifically for the purpose of being an asshole. You knew it was annoying and not remotely constructive. You say you just want to keep doing things that make you laugh. So you just enjoy being annoying and you don't care about others, making you the asshole. You're extremely lucky your wife has put up with you for so long. Grow up and apologize. Also commenting on someone else's eating is absolutely different from commenting on how much they're drinking. You're the asshole you were already drunk and getting another beer and this sounds like it's a regular occurrence. Your wife could have said it in a better way. However getting a treat is not the same as another beer when intoxicated. How are people old enough to celebrate their 11th anniversary, still getting drunk in public? Cause I know that if you admit you were visibly intoxicated, that you were not in need of any more alcohol. You're the asshole. Eating something doesn't impact her behavior or functioning and doesn't impact anyone else. Continuing to drink after you're drunk will have an impact on your behavior functioning and likely will have an impact on those around you. You're focusing on the action while she's focusing on the consequence. I think you know it, too. You're definitely the R. Uh, you're the asshole. I decided to have another beer because that's just what I do on a Friday night. Tell me again how you don't have a drinking problem up. You got sloppy drunk on your anniversary and insulted your wife. Good job. ESH. If she has a problem with your drinking she should address it when you're both sober and tell you where she's coming from. You also should tell her what she should shouldn't eat even as a joke. As someone who previously had an edit can be toxic and cause more harm than you realize even if you didn't mean it. Your adults please just communicate. You're the asshole, she didn't say that without thinking. She said it because it sounds like you are an annoying chore when drunk, and she has to deal with you. The guests can leave when it gets uncomfortable. She has to stay. You're the asshole. You're really just deflecting from the fact that you drink to excess. Maybe ask why it's just the thing you do. You're the asshole, that can't really be construed as anything other than a dig at her weight. Uck, another one beer you're drinking too much. Uck, another one dessert you're eating too much. ESH. Both of you need to learn to communicate to each other with respect, instead of using passive-aggressive insults. You're the asshole a person who does say mean things just to laugh our bullies. I wonder why your wife would react to another beer? I think we need to hear her side of the story. Edit spelling. You're the asshole you are not struggling with sobriety or any other issues. Also you were visibly intoxicated but wanted to have another beer. OP when exactly do things become an issue? Is that for you to decide, or your loved ones? You've done something far worse than parroting. You have unintentionally made an assertion that your alcohol habits and your wife's eating habits are equal vices. You are in the doghouse until you acknowledge this mistake.
Ash, you're both childish and she shouldn't dish out if she can't handle it. But do you know why? Having been married for 28 years, I can say with authority that yes, ESH keep this up and you won't make it to your 12th anniversary. Either of you, cause your post makes it sounds as though you two don't communicate very well. Nothing wrong with having another beer if you aren't driving, and nothing wrong with having another sweet sounds like she was serious toe, and had no sense of humor e your comment which was a zinger. You're the asshole. Mimicking someone, especially a spouse, is juvenile and never ends well. You're both ours. Your wife for her rather unconstructively delivered criticism, you for entertaining yourself with delivering a taste of her own nasty medicine. Lot of anger and bitterness lurking under the surface in that household. Good times. Hey, Op, did you ever consider that your drinking caused her to want another dessert? As the partner of an alcoholic, I can attest to the anxiety he causes me when he reaches for another beer. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. What a catch you are. Here's a little tip. If you upset someone and you didn't mean to, you apologize. Even if you think it was an overreaction, or you think it was the same treatment you got, it doesn't matter. You hurt someone you apparently care about, why you wouldn't be wanting to fix that is beyond me. If you think there's more to it, then have a proper grown-up conversation about it once you smooth things over. I just hear and see things that make me laugh and I want to keep it going. So you purposely keep being an R because you think it's fun to make mean jokes, rolling eyes face, you're the asshole. Not the asshole. Wife rudely criticized your consumption publicly, you less rudely criticized hers. You will be judged harshly here bc you are a man, if the roles were reversed you'd do well. You literally did what she was afraid of. Had two man beers and acted like a jerk. You're the asshole. Get ready for divorce if you keep drinking the way you do. Yeah. You're the asshole. You were drunk and going for more. She's the one who has to deal with you in that state. Exactly who does her having a donut hurt beside her? Mockery is abuse. Not the asshole emo the top comment is deranged. How is commenting on someone drinking something any different from someone eating something? Not the asshole many people are fine dishing it but when tables are turned, it turns into a meltdown. Stick to your guns, you've done nothing wrong. Not the asshole your wife would be laughed out the door in Ireland op. Fair game. Not the asshole. Maybe she eats, because you drinks. Info did she ask you before the party to not drink so much? Continuing to drink when you are intoxicated because that's what I do in Friday is a drinking problem. You were drunk and mocked your wife about her obvious frustration with you being drunk. You're the asshole and she should leave you. You're the asshole op. What you see as just messing around was not a joke to her. You should apologize. Come on op, you knew you were trying to get back at her. Figuratively punishing her with annoyance for her annoying you earlier. I was visibly intoxicated but decided to have another beer because that's just what I do on a Friday night. You may indeed have a sobriety problem. She could be more polite about it, but grabbing another drink when you're already drunk and this is what I do on Fridays is a problem. If you've already been married 11 years I'm assuming you're not so young that excessive drinking is more accepted. Drinking responsibly means monitoring your intake and they said they were visibly intoxicated but decided to have another. I also had this attitude that it was fine to do this every weekend but you may not know how annoying or rude you are clearly since you body shamed your wife. Turns out I was justifying drinking more than I needed, like op, which made me and everyone else miserable. Oh come off it. You were being petty with your comment and you know it. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. You done FD up a eh, Aaron. You're the asshole. You're the asshole and apparently have a drinking problem so bad that your wife dreads your drinking, and you take her dread out on her by making fun of her eating food? Maybe for your 21 year anniversary she'll get the backbone to leave you. You're the asshole. And have alcohol problems to boot. 
You're getting drink every Friday night. I can see why your wife would have issues with that. You have to be in your thirties if you've been married eleven years so it's not like you're some college student. You're the asshole.